Example, C2.3.2.3. In this example, multiple living units per phase are examined. This activity introduces us to columns three to five of table C1 for calculation purposes. Columns three to five apply loading for a number of living units per phase. This scenario introduces us to communal light, power and equipment calculations not associated with individual living units, which will be discussed as we proceed. As we know, the maximum demand of any three-phase installation will be the highest loaded phase. The 80 units are not evenly divided by three. So we end up with 27 units on two phases and 26 on the remaining phase. Providing that the remaining loads are equally divided, either of the phases with 27 units will provide the maximum demand current. For calculation purposes, the person performing the calculation for motors and lifts is directed to statements in table C2. As there are more than 21 units per phase in this installation, we will reference column five for calculation values. Now that we understand how table C1 works, we can match the load groups to the correct column for load allocation. In load group A1, column five allows 0.5 amps per living unit, which gives a value of 13.5 amps per phase. Load group B1 allows 50 amps plus 1.9 amps per unit. So this will be 50 plus 27 times 1.9 to give a total of 101.3 amps per phase in this load group. In this example, only 17 units have cooking ranges with six allocated to each of two phases. The calculation here gives 2.8 amps per unit with a total loading of 16.8 amps. Load group D covers fixed space heating and the 27 strip heaters per phase fall into this grouping. The calculation of 75% of connected load gives a value of 220.7 amps. Load group F allows 100 amps plus 0.8 amps for each hot water system per unit. The calculation for hot water systems comes to 121.6 amps. At this point, the loading associated with individual units is complete. The maximum demand value sits at 473.9 amps. We must now calculate the loading for communal services and add this to the unit loading to calculate our maximum demand for the installation. Load group H is communal lighting with an allocation of full connected load. The total communal light loading is 7,500 watts. Splitting this over three phases gives 2,500 watts per phase and a loading of 10.9 amps. Load group I has 20 socket outlets. Splitting these into three and applying a loading of two amps per outlet produces a phase loading of 14 amps. Load group J1 is applied to the communal clothes dryers. There are 10 of these units and the highest loaded phase will have four of them. The loading applied here is 50% of connected load. The calculation gives 31.3 amps on the highest loaded phase. In table C1, Load groups K and L require the user to reference paragraph C2.4.1 and table C2 for loading. In column two of table C2, we find the load allocation for lift motors. The installation has two 12 kilowatt three phase lift motors with a current draw of 22 amps. 
125% of full load current is allocated to the largest motor for maximum demand. As both lift motors are the same size in this case, either can be used. The second motor is allocated 75% of full load, giving us 44 amps for the lift loading calculation. The final calculation is for two three-phase motors, one at 5.5 kilowatts and the other at 4 kilowatts. For load allocation, group L in table C1 directs us to table C2 again. In column two of table C2, full load current is applied for the first motor and 50% of full load current for the remainder. The calculation gives us 14.6 amps with the total loading for the communal services being 114.8 amps. Now, all that remains is to add the unit and communal service loadings together to calculate the total maximum demand for the installation. 473.9 plus 114.8 equals 588.7 amps for the estimated maximum demand.